Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a simple notification system with Django channels. If you are new here, my name is Ali Company. I'm a full stack Django and Vue developer. And here we are going to talk about programming and sometimes UI UX as well. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's jump to the code. The first step is to set up our project. In order to save time, I'm using my starter Django and Docker project, which I built based on best practices in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, I put its link down in the description. After that, let's create .env file and activate our virtual environment. Now we need to install Django channels. After that, let's head to the settings.py file and add channels to installed apps. Then we need to edit the ascii.py file in the config folder. Now let's set the ascii application variable in the settings.py file to point to the routing object as the root of the application. After that, we need to create a new app. Let's call it notification and add it to the settings.py file. For handling the front end, let's create these folders. After that, we need to create index.html file and put these codes inside it. We simply create a form and get a username from the user. Then whenever user clicks on the button, it must send a notification to all users and tell them, for example, user A, click the button. In the script section, we used WebSocket library to first create a connection to ASCII server and then handle sending and receiving messages. Now we need to add a view to handle this page and also create a URL for that. In order to handle channels, we need Redis. Since we use Docker, let's add a Redis service in our Docker Compose file. After that, let's install channels Redis package and add its configuration inside settings.py file. Okay, now let's handle WebSocket. In simple HTTP protocol, first, web server caches the requests and passes them to Django. After that, Django, based on the URL, invokes the appropriate view. Similar to views, in order to handle WebSocket connections with channels, we have to create consumers. So let's create a file called consumers.py inside the notification directory. First, we import these dependencies. Inside our consumers class, we need to define four asynchronous methods. First one is connect. Inside it, we call the group add method and join to a group called notification. The next method is disconnect. As the name implies, this method calls whenever a socket connection terminates. Inside it, we call group discard and leave the notification group. After that, we need to create receive method in order to handle receiving messages from WebSocket. We first extract the message. After that, I create a dictionary called event. Event has a special type key corresponding to the name of the method that should be invoked on consumers that receive the event. Then we call the group send method and pass the group name and event dictionary to it. And finally, let's create send message method, which we used inside the event dictionary. Inside it, we send the message to WebSocket. Okay, now let's create a file called routing to match a URL with our consumer class. The next step is to point the root routing configuration at the notification routing module. So in the ascii.py file, we need to first import some dependencies. Then insert a WebSocket key in the protocol type router list in the following format. The protocol type router will first check the type of connection. 
If it is a WebSocket connection, then the connection will be given to the auth middleware stack. And after that, the URL router will examine the HTTP path of the connection to route it to a particular consumer. So in less than five minutes, we created a notification functionality with Django channels. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next one, goodbye and have a nice day.